Good morning, Dubai. Welcome back to the Love of Dubai show where we go through the top trending stories that everyone across the country is talking about, the questions that you've been asking. Where can you donate supplies for Palestinians? We're going to bring you the lowdown on that very shortly. And we'll also be talking about police surrounded an Emirates plane in Manchester for additional security checks. Don't get played. Be ticket scam savvy as we head into event season. And spooktacular Halloween. Halloween is right around the corner and unveiling the UAE's largest spooky collection at extremely affordable prices. So let's jump right into our first story. The question you're all asking, where can you donate to Palestine at this time? The Emirates Red Crescent has launched the Tower Home for Gaza initiative. We've talked about it just more. Uh, Before now, we have more details. It allows UAE residents, citizens and visitors to donate supplies or volunteer in packing the aid packages. Emirates Red Crescent opened a number of donation sites across Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah and Fajeria, uh, excuse me, Fajera for people to donate food, hygiene materials and health supplies. They currently have three baskets in which the supplies donated would be grouped into the children's basket, uh, women's basket and food cart. For example, for the children's basket, they're accepting uh, the following, which is milk powder, Cerelac, liquid milk, a dietary supplement, towels, biscuits, toothpaste, soap, shampoos, body cream, uh, baby diapers, and, um, well, well, these are what goes into the kids' packages. And then they also have women's baskets and food carts. We've shared all of this already on Instagram, and Mayar wrote a great article, which you can read on Love and Abu Dhabi. So, for example, the women's basket, uh, if you have... For example, towels, blankets, sterilizers, shampoos, soaps, unused, by the way, toothpaste, toothbrush, shaving tools and women's cotton. You can bring that down. And then in the food cart, if you have uh, unopened flour, oil, dates, fowl, hummus seeds, hummus tahini, green peas, corn, tuna, meat, tea, salt, sugar and biscuits, you can bring all of that down to any of the locations that we have listed and it will get to the people of Gaza. 100%. And right now, what we're seeing is people want to help. People want to speak about this. People want to spread awareness. But right now, as uh, much as they want to help, The, in the biggest way that we can is donations and just making sure we help out and get jump onto these platforms and donate in any which way that we can, either monetary or by supplying these uh, products. And the campaign is organizing events on Saturday 21st October in Dubai and on Sunday 22nd October in Abu Dhabi and Sharjah. The events aim to prepare 25,000 relief packages with the support of volunteers from across the UAE, including citizens and residents, in addition to many public and private institutions. This is truly a major initiative happening. And if you want to volunteer to prepare those relief packages, what you need to do, uh, you can get on to volunteering, uh, excuse me, Volunteers Emirates, which is the Emirates Red Crescent Authority, the Dubai Volunteering Program and the Sharjah Volunteering Center and Yum for Dubai. Emirates Red Crescent Authority centers throughout the country are also accepting in-kind donations and monetary donations. And you can do that at emiratesercae uh, forward slash Gaza. Um, This is all overseen by Dubai Cares. The event happening on Saturday 21st uh, will take place between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. at the Al Rimmel Hall in Dubai. And then on Sunday 22nd of October, there will be two events and you can get all of that information. Uh, It's going live on um, Love in Dubai very shortly. It's also on WAMD.ae, which is the government news agency. And Tarahoom, by the way, they also have a graphic which we've shared on our website. If you want to donate money very quickly, you just scan uh, the QR code and you can uh, very easily, within about two minutes, donate to the cause. Exactly. And these uh, centers are located across all seven emirates. So if wherever you're watching from right now, wherever you are living, you are um, you will have a center close to you where you can go in and you can donate these packages. So um, in Dubai specifically, the ERC, there's an ERC headquarter in Al Garhud and ERC warehouse in Al Quz. So these two areas you can head to. Then there are plenty in Abu Dhabi. And the full article is there on Love in Abu Dhabi if you guys want to go check it out and if you guys want the list of places where you can go and um, either volunteer or donate these packages too. Our next story is police surrounded an Emirates plane in Manchester for additional security checks. So Emirates flight EK-019 took off from Dubai at 2.30 p.m. and landed at Manchester at 7.31 p.m. on October 17th. And it was held up at the airport as the Greater Manchester Police were made aware of an email claiming that there was a suspicious package on the aircraft, according to um, the Independent. Upon arrival, local police surrounded the Emirates aircraft to conduct additional security checks. 
Thankfully, everyone was okay. Emirates crew and ground teams cooperated fully with authorities. After completing the checks, the passengers proceeded to the gate as normal. An Emirates spokesperson said, we can confirm that flight EK019 arriving in Manchester on the 17th of October was subjected to additional security checks upon arrival. Uh, Emirates crew and ground teams cooperated fully with the authorities after local authorities cleared the aircraft. It was proceeded to the gate where passengers disembarked as normal. Now we saw the videos of you know someone checking why there were police surrounding this airline, uh, but there was nothing uh, suspicious on the plane. Thankfully, all passengers were easily able to disembark safely. Uh, would hate to be in that situation because you never know what's going to happen. But exactly. uh, it was totally a false alarm. So we're very happy to report that. 100. And uh, like these kind of situations, just really uh, like for a passenger to be on the plane and be like, you know, in that circumstance and have like the police car surrounded. You don't really know what's happening. You're just so panicked, and uh, you can't even imagine like you know what's going on in their heads at the time. But yeah, thankfully, like you said, it was a safe uh, situation. Like false alarm. And of course, better safe than sorry. The fact that all the police cars were surrounding and just did a thorough check before taking off. We jump into our next story. Don't get played, be ticket scam savvy. It is event season. There's so much coming up. There's so much happening. I know I was trying to get last minute Robbie Williams tickets. Um, but with that, Abu Dhabi has issued a warning because you need to be vigilant of social media fraudsters trying to lure you with fake tickets. The Abu Dhabi Judicial Department, ADJD, has issued a warning telling you to beware of misleading offers. So the warning said to avoid anyone uh, giving your banking information, sorry, avoid giving anyone your banking information and use official websites only. If you fall a victim to fraud, immediately call 800-2626 and please do that immediately because you can get help ASAP. And no, we know we, there are loads of concerts coming up, which is Macklemore, we have Khaled, we have so many more lined up before the end of the year. And everything just needs you to book tickets in advance, early bird discounts. So the websites you may jump onto to book your tickets may not be uh, the official ones because that's how good scammers are. So just make sure you're super, super vigilant when booking your tickets and putting in your car details in any website. Just check the website. Um, because what they're doing is they're offering very tempting low prices. And I think there's two ways. There's one is a false website. Mm -hmm. And then there's the other kind of like the Facebook lurkers Mm. who look as though they're selling, for example, F1 tickets at a really discounted price. You know, they'll pop in, you know, my daughter's coming to town last minute. I don't need the tickets anymore. Yes. And then, and then they, they, they'll say, and then what happens is they vanish after you've sent them all of the money. Um, So coming into the season, uh, the Abu Dhabi Judicial Department is warning people to be uh, careful. And the great thing is that there is a number you can call immediately if you fall victim to fraud, as Simran said, 800-2626. I've been victim to this kind of fraud. So many, many years ago, I bought IMG tickets. So there was this person selling it on WhatsApp, selling like uh, two tickets. for the price of one and they're like they don't need the tickets anymore exactly the same scenario got the two tickets went down with my friend and the tickets were not uh, because they were already entered with and you couldn't enter with them again and when I went back on whatsapp to be like um can you just help me in this situation I was blocked and I'm like oh oh, oh no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I get it. That's the most. That's so sad. The um, similar thing happened. I would think F1 one year. I was looking for last minute tickets, trying to get a deal on Facebook, mm. and uh, so I put up a line saying, "Hey, can anyone help me out with tickets?" Loads of responses. Turns out, loads of people were trying to get rid of tickets. But when you actually investigated their pages, they weren't real. Legit. Like they, they looked. They all looked a bit dodgy, to be honest. And the prices they were quoting were way too good to be true. So, so the real you price. realized. You realized and you never bought those tickets. I didn't buy the tickets. You're smart. Real eyes, real eyes, real eyes. <laughs> Ignore that. I feel like Abu Dhabi Judicial Department would thank you for that word of warning. 
I feel like they should use that they quote, They should though. use it. Guys, change yeah. your fraud update. We've got a new one for you. <laughs> um, speaking of frauding, let's jump into Halloween, spectacular Halloween unveiling the UAE's largest spooky collection. Hey there, ghoul friends. Hold on to your broomsticks because Daiso Japan is conjuring up the spookiest shindig in the UAE. Picture this. This is the largest Halloween, not this, but in their store, is the largest Halloween collection underneath the UAE moons, boasting over three thousand items oh my god i can't even with the puns here from fang tastic costumes for kids and adults to buckets to hold all your beautiful treats daiso has got your halloween needs wrapped up like a mummy not to ghost anyone but they've got skeleton skulls wigs masks and all things that go bump in the night so both standing and hanging girls indeed and can we just say uh, they don't cost an arm and a leg um, you can go and you can get a heap of stuff whether or not you want to decorate your house or look great in a costume that's gonna by the way scary scary yeah. is great like let's You know, scary, scary costumes are good. great. So get ready to transform into your wickedest witch or spookiest specter your neighborhood has ever seen, all thanks to Daiso Japan's UAE oh, branches. Yeah. It's a spectacular Halloween this year, so you could be spellbound by the selection of party decorations, light accessories. Like, they have a lot going on, not just here. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Uh, so head on over to Daiso Japan and let the festivities begin. I love that. This looks, this looks exactly like my best friend. If you're watching, you know who you are. You know who you are. How did they get your face so right in a mask? I thought huh. you were going to say it looked like me. No! <laughs> uh, I would never say that. I think this is great. <clears throat> Creepy. Does the job. But you know also... the best thing about Daiso? Um, it's just so affordable and they don't hike up the prices like loads of other places do during Halloween. It's like you won't go in and find a costume that costs you 500 dirhams. Like, it's not going to happen. Halloween costumes, yeah, but I think people go over the top. But look, if you want to like decorate your house to the nth degree, they've got 3,000 items down there. Um, you can get spooky uh, and it's all a lot of fun. So that's Daiso Japan at UAE and we... Um, Uh, we shared a story before. We've got their tag on there. So if you want to check out, you can go on. But we all know Daiso around the UAE. It's a brilliant value for what you're getting. Exactly. It's 8.44 on this Wednesday. Thursday Thursday. Morning. One more day left. I'll get it one day. I'll understand the days of the week. Uh, it's 8.44. We're back with you tomorrow morning. Same time, same place. And if you want all the information on the donations to Gaza, we have it on our website. We have it on our Instagram. And there's going to be a massive initiative happening across the UAE this weekend. And there's so many ways you can get involved. If you're not here, you can donate on your phone. You can help pack. And also you can bring donations across the country. So do get involved. All the information is there. Goodbye from me. Goodbye from me.